Hi guys, Omar here with Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and in this video I'm going to be showing you multi-window. Now the variation of multi-window on the S6 Edge and maybe even the S6 is a little bit different to the Note 4 if you've used one of them. Now you get a lot of customization with the Note 4 where you can uh, change different things, have presets to the windows, to the dual windows that you use, um, but you don't get anything like that. Uh, with the S6 Edge. Let me just um, show you here, the way you access it, there's two ways that you can access multi-window. You can either long press on the recent button and it will give you an option to select two, uh, two applications and then it will open them in each window. Um, first obviously on the top and one on the bottom and you, you can scroll through the applications that are compatible. Or what you can do is you can go into the recent menu and you'll see this icon here with the dual, uh, with the dual windows there. And all you do is you select that icon and then it will, first of all, it will populate the, the top half of the, uh, of the screen with uh, whatever you've selected. And then you just need to select the other one, whatever application on the bottom. So um, you don't get an option for any presets and there's not a, a toggle. Before there used to be a toggle for multi-window, then there's nothing like that at the moment for uh, the, um, the S6 Edge. But going back into the application, so dual window. Now you can use two applications at the same time, as you can see here. And uh, for the most part, it is basically the same as a Note uh, 4. For those of you who haven't used one, I'll show you what I mean. And um, these options here are pretty much exactly the same. So this option on the left here will allow you to switch windows like that. I've just got my uh, text message application and the Internet Explorer. And then uh, this option here will allow you to lift things from um, one window to the other. It doesn't quite work as well with the uh, pictures and text, but I'll show you what I mean here. So if you select that icon, I can hold and bring over this picture into the enter messages and then essentially it sends over a link to that picture in my text. So that's also an option that uh, you have you just to make things a bit quicker. Going back and now this option here uh, with the two arrows pointing towards each other diagonally. Now uh, all you do is you select the icon and it makes one of the windows smaller. As you can see there you've got like a little shortcut um, and obviously when you select it it will open up in a pop-up window. It won't actually open up in multi-window. You'll have to go into the recent menu, select and set that up as normal. Now going into the last one, which is just uh, the maximization one. Now all you do is obviously you select it and then it, whatever application it is selected, um, well, whatever application has been selected, it will just maximize that and give you that in uh, full screen. Uh, the other one, the last one is pretty self-explanatory. All you do is it's the X. So whatever application has been selected, you'll see like a blue outline ar around the application. Now what you can do is to close it is you just select the X and then it just brings, well, it just closes down the application as normal. In the reasons, as you can see, you just have the two same same application so it just takes you out of multi window it doesn't actually close down uh, the application so just keep and what be aware of that so that was just a quick look at that guys and a quick review of the of the features of multi window compared with the with the note 4 thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you do um, if you did like this video and um, be sure to check out my other videos on the s6 edge as well see ya